We are here at City Hall where John Tory kept his promise, officially resigning once the budget passed late last night. After nearly 10 years in office, Tory's last day as the mayor of Toronto will be tomorrow. You know, actually sitting in council yesterday was very, uh, it was heartbreaking because you could see the look of resignation on his face. It's the one place you'll find him without fail. John Tory working away in his office at City Hall and this morning was no exception. Our cameras capturing the embattled mayor catching up on the news with his name and face splashed across the front page. It's been nearly one week now since the bombshell dropped with Tory admitting to an affair with a 31 year old staffer and stating his intent to step down. I believe in my heart it is best to fully commit myself to the work that is required to repair these most important relationships. Yes. After being convinced to stay on to make sure his $16 billion budget passed intact, which it did without flexing the strong mayor powers, Councillor John Burnside, one of Tory's longtime allies, was hoping for a different outcome. Of course, I'm disappointed. I still think uh, John Tory would be the best person to lead us for the next four years, but I have to respect the decision uh, that he made. Others are just happy to move on. I'm glad that he's not keeping us in suspense. I think it would have been very harmful for the city to have a prolonged period of uncertainty as to what was going to happen. We're in the middle of very difficult times. At least we know what the next step is. In his letter of resignation, John Tory wrote, I want to thank the people of Toronto for trusting me as mayor since 2014. I continue to be deeply sorry and apologize unreservedly to the people of Toronto and to all those hurt by my actions without exception. What would have happened if Tory decided to stay? What it could have meant uh, is, I think, a lot of eyeballs, uh, a lot of media circus, uh, an integrity commissioner that would have looked at this and is still going to look at this. I think all of that would have come up uh, and it would have created a untenable atmosphere. I would be surprised if we see John Tory uh, on the radio, in the newspaper or in the media uh, after Friday. I suspect he will take that time to reflect, to spend time with his family. I'm told Tory has been in meetings all day to start the transition process as of 5 p.m. on Friday. So tomorrow, Scarborough Councillor and Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey will begin to oversee the operations of the mayor's office until a new leader is elected. At City Hall, Shauna Hunt, City News.